Hi everyone, welcome to Straight From the Divine Tarot. We're Friday, April 5th, 2024, and I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. I'm going to skip the spiel for this morning, or this read anyways. Um, hopefully you guys are going to have a beautiful day, a beautiful weekend. Uh, if you haven't done so already, and if you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, even if you don't, um, thank you for being here. If you do subscribe, I'd be eternally grateful for the ones who have. Thank you so very much. You know you are my family. You know I love you so very much. Thank you for being here. Let's see what Spirit has for us at this hour. Spirit guides, guardian angels, thank you. So this is the heart chakra four. So that's the overarching energy. Your heart chakra is wide open. That's good. Please don't. No matter what happens in your life, and I know it's hard to remember, but try not to close off your heart chakra, okay? Follow your heart, in other words. Bottom of the deck is temptation in reverse. Hmm. Could be somebody that had their heart chakra closed at one point, and now they're opening up their heart chakra. They can't be tempted into, you know, unmeaningful, non-meaningful relationships. You love yourself too much, whether this is you or somebody you're dealing with. They can't tempt you, right? Solar plexus chakra. You're too will. You have too much willpower. Three. So this is four and three. That could be um, emperor and empress. You could be divine feminine, divine masculine here. We have love begins. So yeah. Somebody didn't want to give you any love. Um, one in reverse. It was all a lot of uh, illusions. So lots of illusions. Um, love begins. So I think maybe love is ending. They don't want to change. Somebody doesn't want to change their ways here. 13 in reverse. It's a permanent profound ending for somebody because they, they couldn't tell the truth. They didn't want to tell the truth. They didn't want to face the truth. Right? 20 in reverse. That's karma's coming here. Harsh judgment. Maybe somebody that judged you harshly. They have no room to judge you. They're not God. But this is also karma coming here. So somebody's going within, doing some soul work. Shadow work is beautiful. Nine is the hermit. <clears throat> going within, tapping into their higher wisdom. It could be an investigation of some sort. Uh, there's movement choices and decisions here that need to be made. You have to tap into your inner intuition to do so. Because this is going to lead you to your destiny. Destiny and, and balance. Justice and destiny. So the wheel is spinning in your favor. You're going into some, you're getting some sort of justice. Congratulations. Okay. I like that. So they can't, they can't tempt you <clears throat> and or somebody you're dealing with cannot be tempted any longer. Maybe they were at one point. Um, you love yourself too much. You know, your heart shock is open. You, you're not going to be used and abused any longer or, you know, lied to any longer. Some of you might be, this could be you or somebody else. They love you very much. Their heart chakra is finally open. And they don't want anybody else. And it could be other people trying to tempt this person. I don't know. Four, shock, heart chakra. Why is this here, please? Thank you. <clears throat> Triumph of flies, one. It's magician. You're manifesting something new or somebody else's. Um, this is ha having conscious awareness. Somebody's very focused on you or focused on them and loving themselves. You know, be charity begins at home, right? So you can't pour from an empty cup, so you got to fill up your own cup. But somebody was lying, okay? Bottom of the deck is obsession three. So somebody's obsessed with you at this point. I don't know. It's not a good thing, obsession. I read these in the upright, but it could be in the reverse too. They were doing some magic and they, they, they brought in a lot of chaos. Into your world or theirs. Yeah, I won't cry for you. You're right on path 22. So whoever this is, you're not going to cry for them. <clears throat> you're too balanced. Um, they did what they did. If it's a past partner, family, friend, I don't know yet. But they did what they did. <clears throat> they didn't lead with their heart. They thought their lies would trump everything else. And, well, they brought some chaos into their world. They wanted power and control over you. It's very jealous person and or chaotic and greedy and selfish. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a nice person. How are we ending? Oh, how are we ending this? Wow. <laughs> Putting the cart before the horse here. Maybe that has some something to do with this. And I am tripping over my words more than usual. It's Mercury retrograde, so I'm gonna apologize in, in advance. We have heart chakra four. 
triumph of lies we want. He wants this here. Please help me understand. Thank you. Keys on our end. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along one night stand. So somebody might have tried to string you along at one point. <clears throat> Your heart was wide open. Theirs wasn't. Now I think there's a reversal here. Their heart's open. Um, and because they said so many lies to you in the past, they can't come back to you, maybe. They strung you along. They're obsessed with you now, but they know they can't tempt you back into another relationship or into bed. Bottom of the deck, coffee cup. Meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. So now they want to come back and just be your friend. And I, I bet you any money, dollars to donuts, they think that the, the, if they get back into your, your energy, even as a friend, they can eventually talk you into be, uh, bed, right? Somebody's overestimating <clears throat> themselves. Stability, security, permits, growth, insurance, and flexibility. So they know that you're stable and secure. Maybe that's what they're looking for. A little bit of permanence in that way. Um, they want you to be more flexible with them. Right? No, I don't think so. Kiss this unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. So they, they're thinking that if they come in as a friend this time around, eventually you're going to fall in love with them. And it'll evolve, see relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So that's what they're figuring, that you can help them heal their inner child after all the bo the fuck shit they put you through. Um, you, you just, you're going to just do, put it in the background, right? Just fall in love with them once again. Well, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, you know, not everybody can do that. I know for me, uh, if somebody's played with me too, one too many times, there's no way I'm going back to that. I love myself too much. Thank you. I'm not saying one one error, one, you know, <clears throat> bad judgment call. Obviously, this sounds like it's somebody that's really, they took advantage of you. They took the piss, right? Heart chakra four, triumph of lies one, and keys on a ring. Rooster, well, a, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So be careful how you turn this person down because they're going to ca cause a ruckus, okay? They're cocky, cocky, cocky as a rooster. Clouds, temporary problems. They want to cause problems in your life? Wow. Goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. This is what they want from you. Money, spiritual growth. They want to see how you did this. But they're not willing really to put the work in. Maybe they're just talking, right? So November could be a birthday. Yours or theirs or something could have taken place last November or this November. Or it's a way, because here in Canada, and I believe in the States, November 11th is Remembrance Day. So maybe this is Spirit's way of saying, don't forget, lest ye forget, right? Don't forget what they did to you. Pig, beware of greed, right? Mm -hmm. Crack cup, dissatisfaction with life. So they're dissatisfied with life. They expect other people to be their entertainment, to clean up after them. You know, um, maybe they don't want to learn, but, you know, like, just do it, do for them, right? December, <clears throat> birthdays and or something took place. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. So they're heartbroken over losing you. They didn't appreciate you when they had you, and they think they could swindle you back into another relationship. But they're unwilling to change. I'm not picking up that they're serious about changing. Barrel, you feel something's lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals, and they're, they're missing all of this. They think that you'll, you're going to fill that void for them. Beetle, good fortune. Yeah, they think you're lucky here. You're not lucky. You're blessed. You put the work in. You love yourself. There's a difference here. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. So they're looking to lean on you like this cane to take care of them in difficult times. Tree, affairs with your family. This could be a family member. Or it could be they're dealing with their family or they have a family. You could have a family with this person. I don't know. Take it for what it is. They want to have a family with you. That'll guarantee them stability. Broken bridge. Unsuccessful outcome to a problem. They broke this bridge. They burnt it. And it's not your responsibility to, to fix what other people broke. Right? You've moved on. Owl. Good advice from a wise person. Maybe this is the advice you, you need right here. Take it for what it is. Dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Leg. Stepping into a new experience and horse. Short journey. So, take it for what it is. You might be traveling towards your short journey. I don't know. I'm not getting a good feeling from this person. If they say they've learned their lesson, they want to change, I'm, I'm doubting it. I mean, for a few of you, maybe. 
Okay, you're gonna have to really tap into your intuition uh, about that one. Go with your heart. But also remember, if you take somebody like this back and they're, they're not really changed, you're just going into another karmic cycle with somebody, but this time it's gonna be way worse. And it's gonna take even longer to get out of and it's gonna be harder, okay? <clears throat> it's just because you're bringing their bad karma back into your world when you've been, you know, doing okay without them. So a heart chakra four, triumph of lies one, keys on a ring, and rooster. Where are we going with this? They could have been in prison or they could be facing prison because this these keys on a ring reminds me of like um, correctional facility rings, you know what I mean? Prison ring uh, keys, I should say. I don't think they use keys anymore. It's all electronic, but you know what I'm saying. They had, they have, and or they still have other options. One lock, multiple keys. You know what I'm saying? Take it for what it is. What's the message here? Making a decision, watching you from afar, moving forward, making a plan to move forward. Thank you. <laughs> Nine of Swords in the upright, bottom of the deck. So somebody's very worried, they're anxious, they're agitated, they're burdened with some some sort of intrusive thoughts the nine swords are coming bearing down on her possibly how they treated you or maybe they don't want to be rejected by you but they want to come back take it for what it is or they might have had you sitting like this night after night when you were with them word where are they yeah this is line cheating and or stealing somebody's very dishonorable hmm. they looked like they had fun doing it too you know what i'm saying yeah, trying to hide, cloak things, sun in reverse, they could be sick. This is somebody that's not happy, or you weren't happy with this scenario. I don't blame you. You're hiding and cloaking a lot of stuff, right? <clears throat> Seven of swords in the upright. I think they want to come back temporarily to see what they can get out of you, because the tents in the background indicate this is a temporary situation. Uh, they want to come back and just take whatever they could from you, right? Yeah, this person hasn't changed here. They haven't learned their lessons. This is the world in reverse. They keep repeating a bad pat pattern of behavior and don't want to learn a lesson. So they, this is unfinished business. They want to come back and redo this all over again, leave you uh, heartbroken and feeling used and abused afterwards, right? <clears throat> this person um, is feeling overwhelmed and defeated. So they want to come back and do this. Make you feel defeated yet again. They want to, they're waiting for your guard to go down so they can come back and betray you yet again. I can't make this up. They could have made accusations about you as well, but yeah, they, I don't know. They want your guard to go down to Emperor in Reverse. It's very callous. Somebody that wants power and control over you. They only care about their image. They're very greedy and selfish and egotistical. It's a harsh and painful end here. They betrayed you. That's what they're planning on doing. Or maybe they wound up with somebody that betrayed them. They got played the same way they played you, but worse. Take it for what it is. <clears throat> Heartbreak. Yeah, they want to break your heart again. And or they're actually going through it. What they play, uh, put you through, they're going through. Take it for what it is. They're going through a dark night of the soul here. Five of Cups in reverse. If this is you, they see that you've put your past hurts behind you and you, you you healed, right? You bossed up and took back your power. This is what they're planning on doing, right? You want to come back in and boss up off of your, your energy, off of your money, your stability. They're hoping that you and them can put their past hurts behind them. I have a cup of reverse. This is your face. So we have, yeah, this is a lot of deception, illusions, manipulation. They're crooked as crooked could be, okay? They're all over the place. They're not they're not settled here. They're mm, 
It's not a win. They want to reconcile with you. They want to manipulate you again. They want to reconcile with you. They want to come towards you here. They see that you're balanced. You're a healer. <clears throat> you're very patient. You've overcome quite a lot, right? Um, they want to come towards you. They're coming out of a third-party situation here. Um, they know in the past they never helped you. Okay, They were lazy, didn't want to put the work in. They were very disrespectful. Um, you moved on, overcame a false contract possibly uh, in the East Thurs. It could be a... Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. It could be a false flame or a distorted person that you were dealing with. Or now that they got rid of the third party, they want to come back towards you. Take it for what it is. Oopsie. There's a chariot here in the upright. Three pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're stable and secure, and that's what they're looking for. They're greedy. They're very greedy. Um, they're looking at you like your wish fulfillment. They're very greedy and selfish. Greedy, greedy. Um, they're looking at this. If you notice, this table's got feet. <laughs> kind of reminds me like the table's going to get up and walk away, and there's no roof above their head here. So they want to go back to this, but this is like, this won't be their roof. It'll be your table. They're going to try to present a table that's, you know, extravagant. But this table can walk away at any minute. So it's everything's temporary here. What, whatever they're offering you, it's temporary. It's just to get, I don't know, heal, get over whatever they went through, save some money or take money from you. It's very, yeah, it's all about money, taking money from you. Wow, because you're stable and secure. So you're the ideal candidate right now for them to come back to. It sounds like a narcissist. They probably have supply. You know, they break up with you. They go to somebody else. They break up there and they come back to you. And then they go to someone else other than, you know, passing rounds, doing their rounds here. Notice that there's a scar on this person's wrist. So this could be somebody that you're dealing with that they could have threatened this before, if you know what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> they could have a scar on their wrist. Be careful. They might try to play with your emotions. Like, oh, you know, if you don't take me back, I'm going to do something. Yeah, this person's very unstable. Male or female. Greedy and selfish, materialistic. They're hung up on materialism, okay? It's all what they can get. They're very unfaithful. You can't trust them. They don't have any... They don't know their value and their worth. And they have no integrity, loyalty, or honesty. They're codependent, clingy. They're very unstable here. They could be in heavy-duty debt. They breadcrumb you. They used you and abused you. Treated you horribly. Wasn't equally yoked. Won't be paying their way, by the way. So you let them go. Or they got let go. Wherever they were. Or they let go of whomever they were with. You surrendered it to God. There's awareness here. You're not playing into this again. Because they're gold digger and a clout chaser. Wheel of fortune beneath that. And it's all on your back. You see this person underneath the wheel carrying the uh, the wheel here? Everybody's sitting pretty on the top here. <laughs> Somebody wants to be king or queen at the top. They think that you won't notice that they're, you know, stepping all over you. Yeah, it's greed. That's what it is. King of Pentacles in reverse. Coercion, I just heard. Wow. So they're not adverse to coercing people into relationships, into situationships. I don't know. They're very greedy. They're a bully. You're, I think you're well aware of this. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Um, you, you've got enough evidence of this. Now they want to they want to um, invest in you. And now they see that you're doing well. You're investing in yourself. Yeah, there's no new beginnings here, okay? Somebody's reckless, careless, and foolish. They took unnecessary risk. And or they feel that you're still naive and they can come back. Yeah, lie their way back into your situation. They're stalking you at the moment. Page of Swords in reverse to see if you know the truth. Yeah, you do know the truth. What are their chances? What are the chances they know the truth? <laughs> Sounds narcissistic to me. No new beginnings. 
Yeah, somebody's could be drinking, they're in their emotions, they want to open up emotionally, or so they say to you. This is sort of this very self-serving, self-absorbed, emotionally manipulative, emotionally unavailable and, and immature. You got a lot of burdens here. They put a lot of burdens on your back, or they're feeling burdened. They have a point to prove with you, possibly. Because you know, they know. They know that you know they're a liar. They get vindictive, they you know. I don't know. They're jealous. They're vindictive. King of Cups in reverse. Ten of Wands. Yeah, they can't come correct. They're still uh, unfaithful. So maybe they're trying to prove to you they're not. They're, they're faithful now. They'll be, but they know. This could be a burden for them because they know that you know they're still unfaithful. They can't come correct. And then they don't want to pay you, pay their fair share if they want to come, Yeah. I want to be lovers with you, right? They can't come correct. There's always a third party hanging in the in the balance. This is a player energy, male or female. You know, there's always a third party. Always a third person in there. They're immature and insincere. If you look at this one, this could be you going, yeah, I'm not going to buy this one. He's acting like, oh, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do all of that. And meanwhile, she's standing there going, it looks like she's about to, you know, the, I think it's Italian, where they take their hand like that and they flick it to, to you. It's kind of like, Giving you a, a fuck you, you know what I mean? Oh, I never slept with them. No, 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 no. She's wearing red here. Red flags. This is a poser, a player. Um, very passionate type of person, but very, um, I don't know. They only think with their loins. I think they're thinking about what they've done here and... They didn't give a shit. They didn't give a shit at all. They weren't worried about hurting you. Maybe they're replaying this in their head. How badly they did you. And they're thinking, shit, man. That really does look bad. <laughs> you know? Whether these third parties for... They met them at work or elsewhere. And if you've met them before, they probably tried to paint these third parties as somebody they weren't. Like, oh, yeah, this is my boss's wife. or You know what I mean? Something like that. It's all bullshit. They're just a player. Very impulsive action. Yeah, you're highly intuitive and psychic, too. You remained with your heart open, like it says here. Heart chakra wide, wide open. You're very loving, caring, nurturing, sweet and kind empathetic uh, and compassionate you remained emotionally stable mature and balanced throughout it all you had a huge cup of love to give them but you're also highly intuitive and psychic and you're going na 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 charity begins at home right they abused you okay they did they abused you they, they uh, maybe even committed crimes I don't know maybe they got a little you know touchy touchy whenever they got angry with you if you know what I'm saying you had to remain uh, stable here emotionally to get through it, possibly. And it wasn't easy. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is family discord. You could have been married or you have a family with them. All they do is cause discord, losing long-term stability, long-term relationships. It could be a large amount of money they want to come in and steal from you. Maybe they did in the past. Who knows? You, you distanced yourself from them. You detached. You're not codependent. Well, wow. they want maybe left you, uh, you know, broke, born from Peter to pay Paul, right? In financial trouble. They can't play games with you anymore. That's what it is. Yeah, they don't want to work. They didn't put any effort into the relationship. So you detached from them. Screw that. Yeah, judgment in reverse. So they judged you harshly. They had everybody and their dog judging you as the bad guy in the scenario. It was them. This is karma. Lack of awareness, acceptance, and accountability. So you blocked them, right? It's an empty victory for them. They did the worst. They did the worst to hurt you. You know, everybody that got involved with them, walking away, taking on losses here. They think they're very smart for, you know, how they conducted themselves. They're not. So they, they maybe they're realizing there's no comeback. They can't come back to you. 
They're realizing they blocked their own way. It's an empty victory. It was all out of jealousy, pettiness, and cruelty. There's no way they're coming back. Yeah. It's like flogging a dead horse, right? There's a profound ending for this person. Now they can't come back. They didn't want to change their ways, right? Well, there you go. That's what happens, right? Time is up for this person. It's over. This has gone on too long here, yeah. All the partying, the third parties, you know what I mean? Now they want to reconcile, and they can't. Yeah, truth and clarity. You know the truth. They know you know the truth. They don't want to change about the third parties, about the partying, the friends. You know, they know you know the truth, and they don't want to tell you the truth. Right? That's why you walked away. There was no emotional fulfillment or happiness. This person was emotionally withdrawn. No happy, happy here. Okay? You're not investing in this person ever again. They could have, when you left, or when they left, you could have been faced with a lot of hardship. They didn't give two shits about you, what happened to you. You know what I mean? They didn't care. They were too busy playing around, partying. Sideways, do it again. Say to cops here, there's no emotional. Maybe you're not, yeah. They wanted you to fight with them and compete with their side pieces, whatnot. They're, this is mental conflict as well, I think. They're mentally conflicted. They got an STD. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe they got an STD. You're not attracted to them. They're trying to stop your new passionate opportunities, your new beginnings. They're trying to block you somehow. Or, I don't know who this is. Block a new beginning. Exactly. Gathering some information here. They want a new beginning with you. And they're thinking about different ways they can scenarios they can have you back in their life here you know what I mean they had a lot of partners a lot of options here they know they're trying to block the block the information that they still have partners on the go that they just wanted a life they want a life of luxury off your back so this could have been the past and or now they want to come back for a life of luxury off your back they're having financial difficulties or in the past they had multiple options you found out they could have had an STD as well and blamed it on you. <clears throat> From all their, they're fighting with all their side pieces because they got an STD and they passed it around. You knew the truth. <laughs> they had multiple options. They're unstable. You're healthy, by the way. You're a healer. You're very balanced. And they're left out in the cold feeling sorry for themselves. <clears throat> now they want to patch things up with you because you, maybe you're out in the public eye. They know they can have a life of luxury off your back. Yeah. yeah. This is bad news. You're not talking to them. Yeah. Not talking to them at all. Four swords. They're scared. They're sick. This is a scandal. Yeah, they're sick. So they have an STD and they're sick. This is bad news. Maybe they think you can help them heal. Or bring them back into, you know, some semblance of good, good health or something. Yeah, they're blocked. Sudden departure, sudden arrival. They don't know what to do. They don't, yeah. They're married, though. They have a family. They're married and have a family. Maybe they neglected to tell you that. I don't know. Or maybe you're married and you have a family here. There's bad news. They're talking. They wanted to reconcile. They wanted to heal with you. Yeah. Blocked emotions. Mm. No love. Somebody's very, very thirsty right now. They dumped your love out. Your love out. Now that all they can do. Maybe they think you don't love them anymore. And I doubt it very much. I don't think you do love them. You're not in love with them. They just drained you here. Had you in your head for a long time. Or maybe this is them now. They're in their head for a long time here. Restricted. No talking. You're not talking to them. There was a lot of lies. Yeah, you're the empress. Well. Or they didn't tell you they got somebody else pregnant. Or you're pregnant. Or they're pregnant, depends on who you are, male or female. And this is the Empress, though, High Priestess. Not talking, oh, gosh. Got married because somebody got pregnant. 
Yeah. And they're not happy in this relationship. Damn. They're missing you. They're feeling left out in the cold. Because they wanted the third parties, temporary things, and people that didn't last long. And they ignored the gift from the divine, which was you. And they hedged their bets on the third parties. <clears throat> they're not happy, though. Not in this marriage or commitment. Yeah, they're hiding cloaking it, though. You're making a head of heart, heart decision about this marriage, this this family, it's a tower, this false foundation, left out in the cold, at a lack and a loss, and going towards some poverty. So this is justice. So in their life, what they went put you through is what they're going through. Their partner's cheating on you, on them, could have gotten pregnant, or they got someone pregnant, take it for what it is. They want to reconcile with you. This is ju justice for how they treated you in the past. They abused you. They really didn't give a shit about you. So they're getting uh, their comeuppance, okay? Be careful who you hurt and how you hurt them. They could be thinking, oh, I'm going to bring some flowers over to them. They want to contact you. They're remembering the past. You're good news to them. But they, they're still unstable here, okay? They're still, they're jealous, they're unstable, they're a bully. Lots of lies and illusions. Maybe they're afraid to contact you, afraid to come towards you with a cup of love. Or they're still secretly giving their cup of love to other people and they want to come back to you. This, yeah, King of Wands. Trying to look like they're a leader here. They have, you know, they do things the right way. They protect and defend, but really they're a King of Pentacles. Unstable. Look at this. There's a few people involved. This out of... They act out of the ego. They're really high on themselves here. They secretly they want to talk to you. They secretly want to give you a cup of love. They want your support. That's what it is. Yeah, they're worried about it. They're worried about... They want support here. They're worried about their ego. They're, how they come across here. Having power and dominance here. They were lustful in the past. I think they're really worried about how they came across last last time you were with them, the last time you saw them. Yeah, they were in, into some sort of corruption, worried about their image here. They were abusive towards you. They were greedy and selfish. Look at this, narcissistic. Look at this, kings, all these kings. Knight of Swords. We have the Emperor in reverse, Knight of Swords in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, King of Wands in the upright. Moving on. They thought they were coming into some some something grand and great here, the leader of some pack or something. Now they're thinking, they're strategizing. They have to, yeah, they're thinking about this family. Or they're thinking about happiness. They were happy with you. In this relationship, the Queen of Wands. But they left you behind. They they abandoned you. And you overcame, persevered, and put up some fierce boundaries. You know your value and your worth. And you're going to be speaking the truth to them. They're, that's what they're afraid of. You're so strong. They're afraid of telling you the truth. But they know if they, if for some reason, they have to come back in. I don't know. They, they want to come back in quickly. Talk to you quickly about something. They want to tell you the truth. That they were a poser, a player. And they're trying to heal things in their life now. And they want success with you. Or maybe they want to heal things because you... Are out in the public eye, and you have success in your in your life here, and they're feeling left out in the cold, rejected, abandoned. And so they're plotting and planning. Uh, uh, yeah, they're they're thinking about this. Somebody at a distance, maybe they're thinking about coming back into a, a relationship with you, because that's you made them happy. But it all, I mean, you're the one that makes that decision. I'm gonna leave it there. Heart chakra. Yours, theirs, take it for what it is. Um, they're bargaining that, you know, you're a loving person. They can come back into your world. But temptation's in reverse here. They're going to try to tell you that their drugs, the, the, the sex, the, the third parties, it's over with. You're going to see through the illusion, though, okay? If there's any kind of illusion, you'll see through it. Triumph of lies. They think they're going to get away with these lies. The manipulation, right? They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with just winning, I think. You could be a hard nut to crack for them. So you're the one that got away. And that's just not sitting pretty with them. I'm picking up narcissism. Or worse. How dare you. So they want to come back into your world. Use you for a while. And then fuck off again. Yeah. 
an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So you left them. You, you did better than ever, you know, leaving them. Usually they're the ones that have to look good after a breakup. But you look really good. You're making them look bad. So they, they, I think they want to come in and take it out on you. Clouds, temporary problems. So keys and a ring. So they want to come in, even if it's a friend. They, they, they have, they're very confident they can get you back into bed. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. Keys and a ring. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. I'm telling you, they want to be able to hurt you. That's, like I said, that is a typical narcissist ploy. I'm not a doctor or therapist. It just feels that way to me during this read here. They're not a nice person, but I can't tell you what to do. And of course, not everybody's person's like this. If, if you want your person back, maybe this isn't your read. It could be very close to your read, but maybe it's not. So go within, do that, that soul work. Find out if this is your read or not, okay? Just use your gut instincts here. Use your intuition. Don't sell yourself out. Don't just fall for anything they say. Actions speak louder than words. How are we ending the read, please, Spirit? That's the final verdict here. I'm not getting a good feeling from this person. Strength, 35. Integrity, loyalty, honesty, and strength. Confidence, 42. That's lovers, 6. They, they have a lot of ego here. They think... They're thinking lustful that they, they're pretty sure, confident they can get you into bed. There might still be a third party around or they're confident that you and them are a higher level soulmate connection. But you're going to write, I'm almost confident you'll make the right choice here using your higher wisdom. You can lead a horse to water, you can't make them drink. So this person could be could say a lot, but it's their actions, okay? Pay attention to the actions. Choices, 46, 10, they're gold digger, clout chaser. Um, this is change. This is destiny and fate. It's also karma. They want to hold you back from your destiny. It could be in the reverse as well, where they want to stagnate you. They don't want you going towards your destined path or destined person. They know that you have a great deal of strength and roots are, are solid. They're, you're deep, right? So they want to come take you for a ride again, take you for what they can. It's the age old. Battle between dark and light. You're a warrior. Female, male, doesn't matter. Highly intuitive. There's a lot of lies and secrets here, okay? They could have been doing some spell work too, like love spells, lust spells to get back into your, your energy. But you're a warrior. You know, you're tapping into your intuition that you know what, what's going on here. They wanted to trap you because you let them go. And you're going on to your destined path here. And they're, they're in denial that you're um, an earth angel, that you're balanced, that you've healed. They want to get back into your good graces. They want to reconcile. They're going to say, oh, you're beautiful. They're going to give you all these things. Uh, you know, they're going to say all the right things. You know, give you some roses, some flowers. Oh, you're beautiful. Take a risk. I think you know what's going on here. Okay. It's because you left them. So this narcissist never forget. Okay, even if it's like two months ago or two years ago, they're going to try to get back into your energy to fuck you over one more time for leaving them. How dare you? Just be careful. Okay, strength. Does it seem as if nothing goes your way and that everyone else appears to be having a good time? Be strong, my dear. Drawing the symbol means that no matter what is happening in your life, you have the strength to endure all experiences. Like an ancient oak whose trunk cannot be uprooted by the, the mightiest storm, you will know a strength that comes from within. You will win this game of life. You have the strength to face any situation now. Stand, stand up for what you believe in. Stand your ground. Don't let them push you around or, or guilt you or anything like that. Confidence. There's one such immortal being who has kept this oracle safe in a castle in the Isle of Sky to be given to you when the time is right. This time is now. This is your time. The world needs you. Much is going to be asked of you as you move through your life's challenges and receive my gifts. Know that I have chosen you and that you have everything you need to make the right decision. So it sounds like you're a chosen one. Walk with your head held high and take the next step towards your goal with confidence. I will be with you every step of the way. So I'm picking up that this narcissist is being fueled by the devil. The devil doesn't want the chosen ones to get on path. So they're going, the devil is using this person to get to you. 
to get you off your path or to try to. Just remain calm. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let them take you off path at all, okay? Um, I'm sure that the divine and your spirit team are also helping you. It could be a test as well to see if you've integrated these lessons. And, and past this test, well, I think you're going on to a new timeline, you know, your your new life, possibly. Choices. Do you know the story of a winged immortal in the house of night who had to choose between the dark and the light? Do you know what he chose? Right now, you're faced with such a choice. All you need to do is ask, is this for the highest good? The choice you make will be an important step in your life lessons, as I just described, right? Remember, even not deciding is a choice. What will it be? Choose another card to show you that your choice what your choice will bring you. And that was at the bottom of the deck, a warrior. You're a warrior. <laughs> An intuitive warrior. Uh, whatever you're experiencing right now, all will be well. If your question is regarding love, this card represents someone who is deeply committed, protective, and kind to you. Friendship and love are sacred, and these qualities are important for, for a relationship to grow. If this person doesn't have the qualities... These qualities, I should say, then move on for I will send you someone with a true warrior spirit instead. So this person doesn't have one. They're not a true warrior spirit. They're only here to try to test you one last time. And that's what, it's, what it sounds like, right? Remember, life is about learning and discerning who is true and who is not. There's another message here to consider. Do you embody these qualities in yourself? Now is a good time to think about how committed you are to your path. It's all free will after all, right? If you don't want to continue going down this path, you don't have to. You can go back to this person if you want or not. It's up to you. Let's get the fairies on this, see what they say. Fairies with the final word on this. Friendship. They want friendship with you. I'm picking this up. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now's the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. They might purport to be your friend, but they're not going to be very friend-like. They're just taking from you. Moderation. See, everything in moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. They're going to try to get you off your, your path. Whether it's eating certain foods, doing certain things, drinking, whatever it is. Okay? They maybe want to get you, you know, if you're eating healthily, um, you're minding your body, heart, mind, spirit, soul. They want to get you away from that. Okay? Wish wisely. Your wish is wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire, and take a practical and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. They want to take you off that road here. So manifestations. They want to stop your manifestations. They can't. Don't allow it, please. It'd be such a shame if you fell for this. I don't think you will. Be very honest and clear about what your what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper. Manifestation step one. So you're busy manifesting right now, and this person knows it. So I think he's getting this person to come in and test you. Um, I think the divine knows, as well as your spirit team. I'm pretty sure you know. You're not going to fall for it. You know what I mean? But this person doesn't know that. So just be care careful with this person. They might get testy with you. They might get angry with you. It sounds like it's a narc to me. Um, everybody deals with different kinds of narcs, you know what I mean? Different, various degrees. They can get dangerous if you um, challenge them or rip their ma mask off in public, right? And it sounds like this person has not forgetting, forgotten the fact that you've moved on and did very well for yourself without them. And they might want to take it out on you, so please be careful. If you know who this is, okay? Hope you like the read. Until next time, take care.